From Central Ohio's news leader, this is 10 TV News at 5. And they're off. The ODOT snow plows rolled out today to prepare the roadways for a snowy Saturday and Sunday. We are getting you ready for a wintry weekend. Thanks for joining us at 5, everybody. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Scott Light. Jerry has the night off. So we have team coverage for you tonight. Lacey Crisp is in Pickaway County tonight with how crews there are getting prepared. Kevin Landers has a warning for kids about sledding. And Ross Caruso is taking us behind the scenes as crews get ready. All right, but first, let's talk some numbers, just how much snow we're really expecting this weekend for that we go to Jeff Booth Jeff well it looks like most of us are going to be in around that two to four inch range but there are some spots that will get a little bit less in the north and a little bit more in the far south we're actually going to break down what time it hits and all that coming up in just a bit let me show you what we're looking at right now clouds have just been on the increase so nothing major right there but as we widen out this is what we're looking at a system that right now the leading edge of the snow roughly about 300 miles away from Columbus so moving at about 20 miles an hour that's going to put it here by tomorrow morning. Let me show you what we have happening with our weather alerts. We have winter weather advisories in those light blues and winter storm warnings in the uh, pinks there in southwestern Ohio. So we will have these going into effect tomorrow morning and these will be in effect through the day tomorrow because of that snow that we're expecting. Marching through the night though, we will stay dry with temperatures down into the, uh, the my graphic did not update there, but they are going to be down into the upper 20s by the time we hit the midnight hour. Take a look at this though. Tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. We're still looking at dry conditions as we march on past 6, 7 o'clock. We start to see some more snow inching its way into the Columbus area. And it looks like the bulk of our area will start to see snow by tomorrow morning between around 2, around 6 rather, and 10 a.m. And it looks like the heavier snow will be arriving in the afternoon. We're going to time out that part of the forecast so you can plan your weekend in just a bit, guys. Okay, Jeff, thanks. The State Department of Transportation is ready to rock and roll. Crews have more than 56,000 tons of salt on hand. Doppler 10 meteorologist Ross Caruso spent the day with crews responsible for clearing all those highways. Hey, Ross. Hey guys, yeah, crews are very busy today and they actually closed up shop at four o'clock, but you can see behind me, we do have dry roads out there. You can see kind of making out the lighter and darker spots of the roads where we see that brine. But yes, those crews, they have wrapped up at four o'clock. They called it quits for the day. They're giving their crew members extra rest. I visited with them earlier today to, to discuss more on their plan of attack for tomorrow. We'll have crews coming in anywhere between six and seven. Um, depending on how far south they are uh, to start plowing and treating the roadways. We expect it to be a long snow event. Um, it's likely going to snow all day, so we will have crews come in tomorrow morning expecting to work a 12 to 14 hour shift, and then we'll bring in a new set of drivers and work around the clock until the storm passes. So in Franklin County, we'll have right around 47 trucks. That's just in Franklin County and then district wide, which covers eight counties in central Ohio, will have 130 trucks. And the main thing with the ODOT is the fact that they don't prioritize their routes, which is completely different than the city of Columbus. Coming up at 530, we'll hear from the Snow Warriors and their latest plan for attack. In the meantime, reporting along 315, Ross Caruso, 10 TV News. Okay, Ross, thanks. We are also keeping tabs on how crews are preparing really all across central Ohio. And of course, that includes areas in Pickaway County. 10 TV's Lacey Crisp is in downtown Circleville with the latest from there. Lacey. You know, it really is the calm before this storm. All the crews have actually gone home tonight to prepare to get rested up for tomorrow, but they have prepared today. You know, you can see some of the salt on the sidewalks. That's ready. They've already been working on some of the roads. They put some brine down earlier today. ODOT also tells me they had some salt on the roads from the snow that we got earlier this week. Now, the crews here in Pickaway County, they're actually coming in earlier tomorrow than most of the crews from the rest of the area. That's because they are expecting to get more of the snow in this area in Pickaway County, and they're expecting to get hit harder here than the rest of the area. So those crews are going to be coming in at 4 a.m. versus 6 a.m. and most of the rest of the area. But like I said, they will have 10 crews out in this area in Pickaway County. ODOT crews hitting those roads to make sure that they are ready for any snowfall that does fall tomorrow. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp. 
10 TV News. All right, thank you, Lacey. And as a new blanket of snow heads our way, there is a good chance your child will be doing some serious sledding over the weekend. But parents have serious dangers associated with this activities. There really are. Researchers from the Center for Injury Research and Policy at Nationwide Children's Hospital looked into this, and they found over a 10-year period, there were nearly 230,000 sledding injuries nationwide, serious enough to warrant an emergency room visit. 10 TV's Kevin Landers is live at Antrim Park with a story about a local man who has a cautionary tale about sledding. Kevin? Well, if you're taking your child to a snow hill like this one, be warned, you are sledding at your own risk. There are no rules, including no requirements to wear a helmet. Now, Jeremy Pauly of Chillicothe he wasn't wearing a helmet when he hit his head while sledding. It happened at this park in Circleville back in 2007. He's now a quadriplegic. He says he never knew the dangers of sledding until his accident. His message to parents, inspect the hill before your child goes down, wear a helmet, and don't go down the hill head first like he did. If anything, going feet first, you're going to break your leg instead of your neck. It's a lot easier to repair. Now here are some tips when sledding. Avoid sledding in areas with trees, fences, and light poles or on rocky hills. Learn how to stop and turn the sled by using your feet. Do not sled in the street or on a highway and never ride a sled being pulled by a car, ATV, snowmobile, or any other motorized vehicles. Now coming up at six o'clock, we'll tell you why Jeremy's accident was one that he never saw coming. Reporting live at Antrim Park, Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. All right, thank you, Kevin. Well, make sure you check in with 10 this morning tomorrow, starting at 5 a.m. for any updates on the snow forecast. It if you are the parent of a Central Ohio high school student, sheriff's investigators want to dispel a disturbing rumor involving a sex tape. 10 TV's Maureen Kosat joins us from the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, where investigators have a warning for parents. The Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force, or ICAC, tells 10TV that a sex tape is being shared at high schools across central Ohio. Now, ICAC says several students uh, have shared this information with their school resource officer, and they say students are spreading false rumors that the female depicted in the video is a student at a rival school. Parents, 10TV has the facts. We talked with investigators. They say, one, they do not believe this video is local, and two, they don't believe it depicts a juvenile. The female appears to be an adult. Now, ICAC investigators are telling parents if your child is in possession of this video, they should delete it immediately. Do not share it with anyone. ICAC investigators say they've already identified the Twitter account used to disseminate the video. They say the investigation is ongoing, but again, we want to emphasize investigators say they do not believe that video depicts a juvenile victim and they're urging parents to urge students to delete the video and do not share it with anyone. At probation for inappropriately touching a girl in the wave pool at Zumbezi Bay. Back in June, a girl notified Zumbezi Bay staff that a man was touching her inappropriately in the pool. The staff called the Delaware County Sheriff's Office and this man, Philip Lobauer, was arrested. Lobauer is also required to register as a tier one sex offender. Columbus police investigators want to know why one person was stabbed to death. It happened this morning at Kimberly Meadows Apartments in East Columbus. Another person was taken to the hospital Hospital. Investigators haven't said anything yet about any possible arrests. Federal workers who missed a paycheck today marched in downtown Columbus to urge Congress to end the government shutdown. Take the vote! Take the vote! About 40 workers gathered in front of Senator Rob Portman's office, including Aaron Bankston. He's a father of six who's worked for the TSA for 17 years. He says he's down to about $100 in his checking account. Working for free is not a good thing. I don't think anybody wants to work for free and try to, like, pay their bills when they can't. He says workers feel like they're being used as political pawns. Tomorrow will make this government shutdown the longest in American history. Well, moving on this afternoon, a vehicle that was just swerving out of control on I-270. The situation closed the highway last night. Oh, this guy's going to kill He's all over all five lanes. Coming up new at 530, the moment police made their move. But first, she is alive.
what investigators reveal about this teenage girl's three-month disappearance. Closed captioning on 10 TV is sponsored by Custom Air. Hi, it's Megan McKay. Mr. Electric is my company. When I send you one of my misters, you will get a top-notch electrician who respects you and your home. A mister who will show up on time, properly diagnose your electrical issue, and tell you exactly what it will cost before starting the job. My misters specialize in light fixtures, ceiling fans, surge protection, generators, and so much more. Call Mr. Electric today and take advantage of our $75 ceiling fan install. Where do Columbus women go to be their own kind of beautiful? The Skin Center Medical Spa. I never thought a quick procedure could be that easy and have such a great result. Discover the quick lift difference, the mini facelift that's smart, proven, lasting, and performed right here in Columbus by board certified plastic surgeon, Fernando Colon, MD. 53 looks a lot better now. Call 1-800-321-LIFT. A new year means new opportunities, but this opportunity is about to pass you by. Don't miss Big Sandy's Celathon final weekend. Get up to six years special financing with no money down and up to $1,000 in free furniture. Samsung stainless steel French door refrigerator. Don't pay $14.99. No, only $9.99. 55-inch Ultra HD TV Super Saver price just $2.99. Hurry, ends Tuesday. Big Sandy Superstore. Experience better. 10 TV News is sponsored by Big Sandy Superstore. The teen girl who was found alive was the only target in a murder kidnapping plot. That's according to investigators looking into the disappearance of 13 year old Jamie Kloss. Now, Kloss's parents were shot and killed back in October. She was missing until late yesterday when she escaped her captor's home. She ran up to a woman who was walking her dog. I just held on to her and I said, we're going to find somebody who's home. We're going to call the police. You're going to be okay. Most importantly, we want to thank Jamie for being so courageous and for achieving an opportunity to find her way back to us. Well, Jamie helped police track down this man, 21-year-old Jake Patterson. Patterson is charged with the killings and the kidnapping. So far, a motive is unknown. General Motors says its earnings far exceeded expectations in 2018 and that 2019 looks even better. GM has made some big changes in its production with a big focus now on SUVs and more autonomous and self-driving vehicle technology. That's one reason GM says it is closing the plant in Lordstown, Ohio, which could amount to hundreds of Ohioans losing their jobs. Macy's just saw its worst day in history. Its stock, at least, it plunged close to 18% after the company reported sluggish sales for November. Experts say shoppers are still gravitating toward discount chains and also toward amazon.com you know that swab that can it, it just it almost feels like it's going to choke you you know the one that detects strep throat yeah it's a tough to one have it. but you know this one this one is a little different mm -hmm. coming up new at 5 30 the new test you might get in your doctor's office and as we take a look outside right now cloudy skies we got a little sunshine today we'll jump on over into the heath newark area again a couple of clouds rolling in not too bad right now let's head on over though to missouri this is a shot of what's going on a live look look at all that snow coming down it looks like they are expecting to see possibly an inch of snow an hour out that way for several hours we're not going to get hit with the bullseye of this storm but we are going to see the biggest snow of the season we'll tell you how much to expect and when it will all fall coming up my YMCA. It's my fitness place. My happy place. My be myself place. My community place. My healthy place. My family place. Find your why today and find your place. Join the why today for only one dollar. Offer expires January 12th. After 75 years serving Columbus, Uncle Sam's Pawn Shop is closing its doors. You'll find everything from musical equipment, TVs, bicycles, antiques to rare toys and sports memorabilia. If you can think of it, we have it, and you can have it up to 50% off. Thank you for letting us serve you, Columbus. Whoa, 
whoa, whoa. That's not a smart way to remodel your kitchen. You really want to spend $45,000 and turn your kitchen into a construction zone for weeks just to make it look better? No. There's a smarter way. The entire Kitchen Saver process was created for people just like you. And the best part? It's installed by our skilled craftsmen in about three to five days. Call today for this month's offer. Kitchen Saver. We love this town. It's nice. There's like a peace of mind. It's fine. It just feels safe and secure being in denial. Living in denial works for me. All the families in denial, they feel the same as we do. Opioids? Not in denial. No. It doesn't happen here. No. My daughter is good friends. My boys would tell me anything. Exactly. No, our kids are way too busy. They would never abuse opioids. He gets amazing grades. Welcome to denial. <laughs> <laughs> Don't live in denial, Ohio. Talk to your kids about opioids. With Four Floors Virtual Room Designer, I can choose options online. Then a Levi's Design Consultant will bring samples to my home for my final selection. It's so easy. I love it. Experience the Levi's difference. Levi'sFourFloors.com. 10 TV Skyview is sponsored by Swaco. Find out how easy it is to recycle right at Swaco.org. The Franklin County Coroner is reporting a surge in overdose deaths. The office reports there have been five apparent overdose deaths between 5 o'clock last night and about 10 a.m. this morning. The coroner says wants to remind everyone you can get possibly a life-saving drug, naloxone. You can get that at any pharmacy. We are also learning more about a new bill that would make the life-saving drug, the EpiPen, or its generics, easier to get. Pharmacists right now are banned from offering patients generics of the EpiPen. Now, the EpiPen right now could cost as much as $600 for a two-pack. 10TV Sierra Johnson breaks down what this all means for patients and for parents. Those behind this bill say it was a direct response to the price hike of potentially life-saving drug EpiPen. And those behind the bill also say that what's happening here in the Buckeye State could be a model across the nation. Uh, if the difference of a couple hundred dollars is somebody's life, um, at the pharmacy counter, that's something a pharmacist really struggles with. Antonio Chacho with the Ohio Pharmacists Association says House Bill 101, recently signed by Governor John Kasich, is the first of its kind. The bill would allow Ohio pharmacists to substitute cheaper yet comparable alternatives of the EpiPen. At its peak, the cost of the drug manufactured by Mylan increased by more than 400 percent. Because we're increasing the pharmacist's scope just an inch, to say they can make a brand to brand substitution so long as it's the same drug, so long as they train the patient on how to use the new device, and so long as the patient says that the, the substitution is okay with them. Chacha says the bill also makes it easier for adults with life threatening allergies to get a hold of the drug. If you've already received a prescription for an EpiPen, you no longer need to go back to the physician. The pharmacist can reauthorize your prescription. He says when this bill goes into effect in April, it will slowly create competition with Mylan's EpiPen, leaving the drug maker no choice but to lower their price. I do believe there are a lot of states that, are, that have watched the passage and now the signing into law, and I think that you will see a national wave hit where this type of legislation will be re replicated in a lot of states. In Columbus, Sierra Johnson, 10TV News. All right, we are going to talk about this incoming snow we're getting in just a minute. But first, let's take a peek at the heat wave happening in Brazil. How beautiful is that? <laughs> this is video from Rio de Janeiro this morning, where earlier this week, it was 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at that. Oh, boy, that's beautiful, though, isn't it? It is Ooh. the middle of their summer, though. Beautiful. So it, summer there. Yeah. Winter, winter snowstorm expected here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, here's the thing. I, I, you know, we really haven't had that much snow so far no. this season. I mean, I we haven't even gotten more than three inches. We're yeah. running about six inches at a deficit. Yeah. So we've kind of been lucky if you don't like snow. And if you do mm -hmm. like snow, it looks like you'll get lucky tomorrow because yeah. we are going to see, looks like the most significant snowfall of the season. It's not going to be a blockbuster snow event like we were talking about out in parts of St. Louis. They could see up to a foot out that way. We're expecting a little less here. Now, if you want to see more snow in Ohio, I would suggest you head to southwestern Ohio because it looks like folks down in Cincinnati, uh, down that way, they're going to have a little bit more snow than we'll see here. But you can see that action. It's already really that storm is really turning away out to the southwest of us. It'll start to affect us as we head through the early hours of tomorrow morning, really early to uh, mid-morning hours. I think that between around 6 and 10, we start to see some snow tomorrow morning here in the central Ohio area, probably sometime after around 7 maybe eight getting a little snow out in the Columbus area. Right now it's 29 degrees. We have
have an easterly wind making it feel like it's 20. And if you are headed out tonight, don't worry about the snow because we're not going to have it just yet. So don't use this as an excuse to stay in tonight. We'll be at around 27 by 8, 25 by 10. If you need an excuse to stay inside, it's going to be a little chilly. So I can understand that. And as we hit the midnight hour, those temperatures are going to be uh, sticking around the mid 20s. So it looks like we are going to be tracking a, a bit of snow out there before you know it. But uh, really through the evening and overnight hours, we're not going to be talking about too much on that front. So here's kind of what we're looking at. Snow is going to begin in the mid morning hours. Looks like we are going to see steady snow arriving through Saturday afternoon. I think the steadiest snow will be getting here between I think around lunchtime and six, maybe seven or eight o'clock. That's kind of looking like when we see the bulk of the snow. It's not going to be an inch an hour like we were just talking about over in parts of St. Louis, but we are going to see it looks like most of central Ohio getting around two to four inches. If you're north of Delaware, it looks like it'll be closer to around one to maybe two inches with a few isolated spots a little more. If you're south of Circleville, most of you will see around three to five inches. And a few, again, a few isolated spots could get a little more. So here's kind of what we're tracking. 4 a.m., we're not looking at anything, but we are going to have that winter weather advisory and those winter storm warnings going into effect by tomorrow morning. Stop the clock at 730. We're starting to see some light snow showers in southern Ohio, which means some flurries up here in central Ohio. As we march on towards lunchtime, you can see that snow starts to spread over the area, and we're tracking it not just at lunchtime, but into the afternoon. We'll stop the clock at 3. You can see scattered snow showers from Zanesville into New Lexington into Chillicothe up into the Columbus area. We're rolling on towards 6 o'clock dinner time. We continue to see this snow and that's kind of the motif tomorrow. We're going to be dealing with those steady snow showers at times throughout the afternoon. But look, once we head past 8, 9 o'clock, things start to quiet down with a few lingering snow showers by Sunday morning. But actually it looks like we'll get a little clearing or at least uh, people in the far north see a little clearing by the end of the day on Sunday. So how much snow are we thinking about? Well, again, it looks like most of us are going to be in the two to four inch range. This model a little bit aggressive in the north. I think if you're around Delaware and north about one to two inches with a few spots a little uh, higher than that. And then again around three to five as you move south of Circleville there could be an isolated spot or two especially if you're west of 23 that sees around 20 uh, around uh, six inches. So watch out for that. Now uh, as we march on through the uh, evening and overnight hours it looks like we're going to drop down to 23 degrees. Cloudy skies. We'll get some flurries out there late and then we're in and out of the snow through throughout the day tomorrow, especially the afternoon, with a few lingering snow showers early on Sunday. Looks like we get a little clearing by day's end in the far north with a high of 35. As we roll on into the next week, those temperatures will be right around, if not a little bit below average on Monday and Tuesday. Then we're back near average as we hit the end of the week, and it looks like we are tracking the chance for no, more snow next weekend in a big cool down by the end of the 10-day, guys. So just buckle up. We're going to get some snow out there. It looks like it'll be a little bit inconvenient throughout the afternoon tomorrow. All right, just tell everybody, take it slow and yep. be careful. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Jeff. Well, let's get a look at the evening commute right now. We're going to take a live look at I-71 and Polaris Parkway. Let's see how things are going there. Uh, looks like things are moving along smoothly. Yeah. No okay. backups. People must have got off work early and went home for the weekend already, but things are moving along well there. Don't forget, morning or night, you can check out the worst traffic spots around town. Before you get in your car, just head to 10tv.com slash traffic. Well, he blew right past a school bus stop sign, and he's a local chief of police. He didn't think he did anything wrong, but as we found out, he did, and now he's facing the legal consequences. Tonight at 6 o'clock, we update you on the story and the questions still unanswered. Next, how about this for a trip? China's trip to the moon. Brand new video captures a mostly unknown part of the lunar surface. Ready to go when you are. Wow, you look nice. Getting around isn't as easy as it used to be. That's why we called Bath Fitter. They removed our old tub and installed a beautiful new spacious shower. Now, getting in and out is a breeze. And we have peace of mind with seamless walls that provide a watertight fit, plus their lifetime guarantee. Thanks to Bath Fitter, life is so much easier with a shower we love. Call today for this month's offer. I'm Dr. Trace Curry. Would you like to jumpstart your weight loss with a non-surgical option? Journey Light now offers Obelon, the first FDA-approved swallowable gastric balloon. If you have the will, we have the way. Check out Obelon at journeylight.com and get up to $1,500 off. Hi, I'm me. And that's me 30 days ago before I switched to Spectrum. With Spectrum TV, I get tons of HD and thousands of titles free on demand. With satellite, I have to have special equipment to watch on demand. Plus that dish on my roof. 
Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Call 833-271-8998. Spectrum Internet has speeds of 100 megabits, so I can surf, my wife can stream, and the kids can game all at once. Our Internet can't keep up with all our devices, so I schedule all of our online time. I get every other Tuesday. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Best of all, Spectrum bought out my old contract, making it easy to switch. Wait, what? Will they do that for me? Yeah, because I'm you, 30 days from now. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Plus, ask how you can save up to 40% on your wireless bill with Spectrum Mobile. Better services at a better price. Call 833-271-8998. Jefferson Awards are given to those who go above and beyond to help their community. They're given to those who help others and inspire them to act. If you know someone who works tirelessly to improve the community, nominate her or him for a Jefferson Award. Submit your nominations at 10tv.com. For all the breaking news, breaking news that matters to you, download the 10TV app. Two things you need to know every day, traffic and weather. 10TV has you covered. It is another cold start to the day. Every morning, Molly Brewer steers you clear of the tie-ups and slowdowns. You start this morning with an accident. And gives you the fastest route for I'm your morning commute. Drive time for you. And Ashley Barrissey has your complete Showing forecast. So the wintry storms won't stop your cold. It's just going to be downright cold. Before you head out, check in. Traffic and weather with Molly and Ashley. Part of the 10 This Morning team. Weekday starting at 425. Only on 10TV. Beat the rush. 10TV keeps you ahead of the traffic. Get your traffic reports on 10TV. Sponsored by your Central Ohio Honda dealers. Weekdays on 10TV. Ignition. Lift off of Falcon 9. And it is blast off for SpaceX, SpaceX's first Falcon 9 mission of the year. This mission will help provide more broadband and telephone services after takeoff. SpaceX will try to uh, land its first, have its first rocket landing of the year by touching down on an autonomous drone ship that is out in the Pacific. That is super cool. How about another trip? Earlier this month, a Chinese spacecraft landed on the far side of the moon. Cue the Pink Floyd music. Today, the first footage of that historic mission was released. And the picture show a rocky surface with the jagged edge of craters there in the background. China's news agency says this could pose a challenge, though, for controllers who are planning the rover's future travels on the moon. Ah, pretty interesting. Well, Taco Bell is trying a new taste. The company will start testing a vegetarian menu later this year. This is good for the vegans and vegetarians. The restaurant will unveil limited time vegetarian and vegan items as part of that test. And just how light is Bud Light? Well, if you'd like to know just how many calories you're guzzling down, just look at these new cartons. That information is already printed on bottles and cans, but Bud Light will be the first U.S. beer to put the information on the carton. I didn't look at that, Yolanda. I, know, I, don't, I don't, don't know. I don't know if we want to see it. I don't but... want the calorie count on my Bud Light yeah. or on my Doritos Locos Taco Ooh. at Taco Bell. Well, I bet the Bud Light's lower. It's mm, had just 110 nice. calories. That's true. <laughs> that is pretty low, too, for yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah. So if it you want is. to drink your calories or eat them, there you go. Yep. Your options. Let's check in with Tracy Townsend. She is in our digital broadcast center with what's coming up new at 530. Hey, and you can burn them all off by uh, <laughs> throwing some snowballs tomorrow because we are getting some snow. And Jeff Booth is going to update us on just how much snow is approaching central Ohio coming up next at 530. Also, a teen tackling what health experts call a dangerous trend. They say the same thing. It, I haven't seen any problems with it yet, so why should I stop? The new push from their peers to stop vaping. And you will want to see this video. It is just incredible. A driver loses control on I-270, and then police move in and make their move. What was happening to that driver? And the message of gratitude from the police. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Denise? Oh, hey, Sandy. Hey. This is a trick my Nona taught me to make sure my produce is fresh. But Aldi produce is delivered fresh every single day. Every day? Yeah. So you don't need to do that. You're not even going to hold that cantaloupe against your face? The only trick you need to save time and money is to shop at Aldi. Save on your choice of Little Salad Bar Chopped Salad Kits. Now just $1.99. Aldi. Shop differently.
Get your traffic reports on 10TV. Sponsored by your Central Ohio Honda dealers. The Ohio RV and Boat Show. Coming Friday, January 11th through 20th at the Ohio Expo Center in three enormous buildings. Incredible preseason savings from 31 Central Ohio dealers featuring RVs, boats, motorcycles, golf cars, ATVs, and more. Brought to you by Park National Bank. The Ohio RV and Boat Show, January 11th through 20th. Discount coupons at Meyer Subway and Park National Bank or online at OhioRVandBoatShow.com. 39 years of outdoor fun, all brought to you at the Ohio Expo Center. Passion. Focus. Precision. At Universal Windows Direct, you'll love our windows, but you'll adore our installers. We arrive on time, keep your home clean, and when we leave, your home will forever be transformed. Right now, for every window you buy, you get the next window free and 0% financing for 36 months. You'll be saying, I love my windows. Doppler 10 Weather Bug is sponsored by Subaru. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. From Central Ohio's News Leader, this is 10 TV News at 530. The Columbus Snow Warriors are ready for battle. 24,000 tons of salt, 90,000 gallons of anti-icing chemicals, all to combat several inches of snow in the capital city. We thank you for joining us at 530. I'm Tracy Townsend. And I'm Scott Light. So many of you already have been interacting with our Doppler 10 weather team on Facebook. There's Ashley Barracy. She was chatting with you this morning as you're preparing for your weekend. So now let's check in with meteorologist Jeff Booth with the latest on those models. Jeff. Well, Scott, it looks like we are going to be picking up the snow kind of right as we were kind of thinking. It's going to start to arrive tomorrow morning, and we are going to pick up the biggest snow event of the season so far. Right now, we do have winter weather advisories. These will go into effect tomorrow morning, and that is for much of central Ohio and those pink boxes out in southwestern Ohio. That's where we're dealing with more snow and winter storm warnings. So watch out if you're headed down to Cincinnati uh, tomorrow morning. We're looking at 29 right now, and it is dry across the area. We're in the upper 20s to right around 30. And Notice we're just dealing with some cloud cover, but we're already starting to feel the effects of that system because it's kind of giving us some cloud debris as it starts to approach. We're not feeling the worst of it yet, though. Still around 300 miles away from the leading edge of all that snow, but you can see some very heavy snow right now affecting much of Missouri. St. Louis area expecting to see possibly an inch of snow an hour for several hours. Now, we're not going to get hit with the worst of this system. Folks out to the west of us will have it worse, but we are looking at probably around two to four inches right now. It looks like in the heart of central Ohio, but we do have some spots that could pick up a little more in some areas. If you're headed out tonight, the snow shouldn't stop you, but it will be a little cloudy as temperatures drop down into the mid-20s by 11 o'clock. And it looks like as we roll through the overnight hours, sometime after 6 a.m. tomorrow, we're going to start to see some snow arriving. And I think here in Columbus, it really starts to pick up as we head past 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And you can see steady snow across the area by 10 a.m. We're going to time this out for you hour by hour so you can plan your Saturday and let you know how much snow to expect in your neighborhood coming up in just a bit, guys. Okay, Jeff, the city of Columbus has a very detailed plan to tackle the snowfall. The so-called snow warriors prioritize the roadways. 10 TV's Ross Caruso is out on the roads with a behind the scenes look at their operation. Yeah, that's right, guys. Earlier today, we spoke with ODOT and we also spoke with the city of Columbus. We're traveling right now on 315 North, which is classified as a priority one roadway, which means this is going to be treated first and taken care of once we see the snow coming through parts of the area tomorrow. I spoke with the city on what their plan of action will be as they continue to pre-treat roads leading up to the event tomorrow. Around 7 o'clock in the morning, we will ramp up to about 60 uh, units on the roadways. We'll run 12-hour shifts uh, throughout uh, all day tomorrow. Uh, we expect to possibly have to uh, upgrade some staffing uh, throughout the day, but we'll uh, look at that as we uh, uh, start dealing with the weather. So they're going to continue to pre-treat the roads. And again, here is a look at the Snow Warriors plan of attack for tomorrow. Priority 1 and 2 roadways will continue to be treated tonight. Priority 1 and lead routes will be serviced during the event. And then Priority 2 and 3 will be plowed once the event comes to an end and things start to wrap up. Coming up at 6, we'll break down these different priorities and how long you may be dealing with snow in your neighborhood. For now, reporting from 315 northbound, Las Caruso, 10TV News. 
Ross, thanks. So let's break that down just a little bit more, what Ross was talking about. So right here, by the way, this is the website, warriorwatch.columbus.gov. This is a really good tool, too, because you can see right here what Ross was talking about. This tan color here, you go to the grid, that's a priority one road. Now, and then they'll light up priority two will be pink. Priority three, we kind of in a light blue or a teal color. So right now, nothing to report at this point. And there's another tab you can hit what has been serviced so far. So again, the snow hasn't come yet, so this hasn't been lit up. But what you can do, you can go in this top left corner right here, put in your address, and then hit those tabs, and you can see what is happening right down to your neighborhood. So this is, again, a really good tool. I'll mention the website one more time. It is warriorwatch.columbus.gov. Also, 10TV will be with you as this snow falls this weekend. You can count on the Doppler 10 weather team. We will be constantly updating the forecast and also, so you can use our 10 TV news app anytime. Download it by going to the App Store and search 10 TV. Tracy. A Hilliard police officer's cruiser was almost hit when a driver suffered a medical emergency. This guy's gonna kill somebody. He's all over all five lanes. Medics say the driver was experiencing low blood sugar. Police used what's called a pursuit intervention tactic, which stopped the vehicle. Take a look. Six five seven. I just co-tuned it. We're stopped. We're gonna need to shut the freeway down. Now everyone involved is okay, and the city is thanking other drivers for giving police the space they mm. needed to do their job. Well, after 15 seasons, two Olympic gold medals, and a world championship win, a former Columbus Blue Jacket star is hanging up his skates. Rick Nash announced his retirement today. He said, quote, unresolved issues from a concussion last year are forcing him to give up the game. He retires with more than 1,000 games under his belt and 73 game-winning shots. The CBJ are tipping their helmets to their former teammate, too. They tweeted this, Today we want to thank a CBJ great for his contributions on and off the ice. Coming up at 6 o'clock tonight, we will hear from another Blue Jacket star about why he's been off the ice. Tracy? Well, the government shutdown is beginning to put a bit of a strain on at least one U.S. airport. Miami International will close one of its terminals over the weekend because of a shortage of TSA screeners. An airport spokesperson says the security checkpoints will be closed after one in the afternoon tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday. The closure will impact about 12 flights. Approximately 51,000 TSA officers are among the 800,000 government employees who are either working unpaid or on furlough. President Trump wants a border wall, he says, now. We have a country that's being invaded by criminals and by drugs, and we're going to stop it. So I want the Democrats to come back to Washington and vote. The union that represents air traffic controllers filed a lawsuit today suing the Trump administration for withholding their employees' pay. Scott? This coming weekend is John Kasich's last weekend as governor. We are talking about that on this week's Face the State. I ask our guests, what will Kasich's greatest legacy be? Medicaid expansion for sure. Uh, he and I had the opportunity to work on sentencing reform, which work is still continuing to um, to develop out of that uh, and both took a great deal of courage because I think part of his legacy is the fact that he was not afraid to be independent and break from his caucus. Next we talk about how Governor Mike DeWine might forge his legacy at the beginning of his term. I think it's going to be kids. Uh, if you if you listen and you follow the campaign and you know have heard him talk the last couple of weeks I think that's the issue that he's really passionate about. He has eight children and 23 grandchildren and believes that he can really make an impact when it comes to early childhood development. Promise you, this is a good discussion as Ohio sees an historic change in leadership at the top come next week. Join us this Sunday for more of that conversation on Face the State at 1130 right after CBS's Face the Nation. Teenagers take aim at what health leaders call an epidemic. We're talking about vaping, the discussion students had today that you might consider sharing with your kids at home. And what's next for the iPhone? Two things you might see on your next new device from Apple. You're going to like more for your trade and new Accords for $249 a month. Honda, I like it.
It's time to trade and save. Get more for your trade than you ever imagined and save on new Accords for just $249 a month. A car in driver's 10 best for 33 years running and Accord costs less than the competition. Get more for your trade and save on Accords for $249 a month. This week at your Central Ohio Honda dealers. After 75 years serving Columbus, Uncle Sam's Pawn Shop is closing its doors. You'll find everything from musical equipment, TVs, bicycles, antiques to rare toys and sports memorabilia. If you can think of it, we have it, and you can have it up to 50% off. Thank you for letting us serve you, Columbus. When my dad started Nature Stone, he created a solution for age-old concrete problems. Unevenness, cracking, pitting, and more. Nature Stone solves all of these problems in garages, basements, and outdoor spaces. Nature Stone is beautiful, environmentally friendly, and affordable. Plus, Nature Stone is backed by Russell's Promise, our true unconditional warranty. Call or go to naturestone.com to schedule your free in-home estimate today and get up to 50% off. Nature Stone, the only concrete solution. This is Angela Pace with the 10TV Community Calendar. The King Arts Complex explores the impact of the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. at a special open house. Log on for details. Sponsored by the Social Security Disability Lawyers at Elk and Elk. Call 1-800-ELK-OHIO. At Dr. Kavitko & Associates, we go above and beyond to make your visit calm and comfortable. I'm very anxious about dental treatment. I had a bad experience as a child, and it brought my fears into my adulthood. I chose Dr. Kavitko for location and reputation. I know even if I come for a cleaning, it'll be comfortable. From a slight buzz to la-la land to wake me up when it's over, we have three levels of sedation, and we're certain one will work for you. And we're a one-stop office. Why go to a sedation dentist if they're referring you elsewhere for certain procedures? Let us get you smiling again. Do you know a high school athlete that excels at their sport? Are they also awesome in the classroom, making an impact in the community? He or she could be our Motorist Insurance Group Athlete of the Week. Submit your nomination to 10tv.com slash athlete of the week. The Culligan High Efficiency Water Softener is the world's best. It's backed by the industry's strongest warranty and serviced by the world's largest local dealer network. Click or call Culligan Water and start saving today. Apple is once again trying to tighten up its grip on the phone industry this year, especially after iPhone sales in China sent the stock market into a spiral in 2018. Not one, not two, three cameras could help Apple do just that. A new Wall Street Journal report shows Apple will introduce three new phones this fall. Its highest end model will have three rear cameras. One thing not expected on Apple's 2019 lineup is 5G technology. Just in tonight, Florida's governor has just suspended the Broward County Sheriff, blaming him for failures in his response to the Parkland school shooting. The newly elected governor criticized Sheriff Scott Israel's handling of the incident, saying, quote, Sheriff Israel has repeatedly failed to protect Floridians. He also mentioned the Fort Lauderdale International Airport shooting back in 2017. U.S. troops are beginning to return home from Syria. A U.S. military colonel said today forces have started a, quote, deliberate withdrawal from the country. But the military is really not talking any specific timeline for troop movements. Manufacturers of electronic cigarettes say they help smokers quit. However, the health experts say some other things, that the negative effects far outweigh the positive ones. The warning about vaping that's being shared with high school students. And we've been watching those clouds start to roll back in through the evening hours. Got a little bit of sunshine here and there as we take a look out at our WBNS tower camera and look out at the city there. Really nice. Up into Velvet Ice Cream and Utica, things are quiet there, but let's take a look outside, though. This is what's headed our way. We're going to see some snow showers. Now, not quite as much as they're going to get in Missouri. However, you can see roads there already slowing down to a crawl. We're going to time out what time we'll see the snow here, what time the heaviest snow will hit, and how much we could get coming up in just a bit. And next, new flu numbers today from the CDC, the trend nationwide, and how Ohio fits in. What does it take to be Central Ohio's news leader? It takes protecting families from crime trends. To go where police can't get to. Uncovering and exposing wrongdoing. We cost the state millions of dollars. And delivering breaking news when it happens. Breaking news at the it takes what we do Coming at a crucial time. every single day. Hello, I'm Jerry Rich. On air. Online, on the go. Yolanda Harris here. 10 TV. 
Central Ohio's news leader. Normally, the best place to shop for flooring is in your living room. But this weekend only, the best deals of the year are at the America's Floor Source Annual Warehouse Clearance Sale. 3442 Millennium Court in City Gate Business Park, just off Stelzer Road, between Easton and the airport. Save up to 75% on hardwood carpet, laminate tile, and more. America's Floor Source Annual Showroom. Warehouse Sale, this weekend only. Savings are here at Logan AC and Heat Services. Get a free train furnace when you purchase an air conditioner and get free duct cleaning when you schedule your installation by January 31st. And check out our financing options. We have heating and cooling for every home and every budget. It's hard to stop a train. Same day estimates, next day installation. Call or click now to schedule your appointment. For fast, friendly service, choose Logan Services. With WOW Internet and Whole Home Wi-Fi, you get super fast internet speeds in every corner of your house. Like this corner. Down here. In here. Get out! Get 100 meg internet for $39.99 per month and add Whole Home Wi-Fi for just $14.99 per month. Insurance companies respect winners. That's why they pay us. Get Scott Smith. Get justice. We're in a small room. What? Welcome. A bigger room. How many of you use car insurance? Oh. Well, what if I showed you this? Oh, ho, ho. Wow. It's a computer. We compare rates to help you get the price and coverage that's right for you. That's amazing. The only thing that would make this better is if my mom were here. What? An unexpected ending. Be ready for the weather, no matter what's coming next. Download the 10 TV app. In Central Ohio, a lot can happen overnight. And that's why we're here, to catch you up on what you missed and help you prepare for the day ahead. I'll have your forecast so you and your family know what to wear. And I'll show you the best ways to get where you're going so you don't get stuck in traffic. We start our day early. So you can start your day with all the answers you need. Up to the minute, the minute you're up. 10 this morning, weekday starting at 425. Save up to 75% this weekend only. 10 TV's Digital Broadcast Center is sponsored by Lindsay Honda. New in Health Source 10, there just might be some relief from the flu this year. The Centers for Disease Control reported some new numbers today and this season shaping up to be just a bit more mild than last year this time in most parts of the country right now. The flu strain causing the most illness is somewhat of a milder virus. Still, the Ohio Department of Health said today flu activity is increasing right here in our state. And well, there's still plenty of time mm. to get a flu shot. And we also saw this in 2018, a dangerous spike with more and more teens moving toward nicotine addiction through vaping. Today, one school tried to end that trend. Teenagers at Olentangy High learned about the dangers of vaping through a new project called Clearing the Fog. And this is a student-run program with the goal to end the, quote, harmless stigma surrounding e-cigs. They say the same thing. It, I haven't seen any problems with it yet, so why should I stop? Um, but I think once they start to see some of these visuals and once um, we're pretty blunt with them on what's going to happen in the long run, they might start to change their minds. We're also trying to get a positive outcome, maybe seeing more students that stop vaping, that and talk and educate their friends or their families and try and get them to stop and just really understanding what they're putting into their bodies. It's a student-led effort there. Students are also working with the health department along with local judges to help spread the word. Dry air, sinuses, viruses, all three can contribute to what's going around this week, sore throats. You know, at some point, that pain inside your neck can become a serious infection. If you turn to urgent care or a health care provider about your symptoms, they're going to check the back of your throat, take a look inside there, your lymph nodes, and in some cases, they'll run a test for strep, which is a bacterial infection. Dr. Jason Pedrick of Ohio Health Urgent Care told me they are now using a molecular strep test that calls out positive results in just minutes and does not require a culture confirmation. <laughs> We need to get antibiotics on board. And one of the biggest things is the antibiotics will make some of the symptoms go away faster. But what we're really worried about is any of the complications that could have to af happen after strep throat. 
Sometimes strep can go down the lungs. Sometimes it can cause ear infections. Now, whether you're prescribed a five or 10 day course of antibiotics, Dr. Pedrick reminds you that it's critical to complete the entire prescription. Well, speaking of what's going around, we've got <laughs> the snow going around and coming around. The man who knows is standing right beside of us, meteorologist uh, Jeff Booth. Yeah, this is going to be one of those weekends you may want to stay indoors and hang out with the family, but hopefully if they are sick, you're just kind of doing what you can to right. stay safe because it, that's exactly like Dracula. Dracula. <laughs> that's, right. <laughs> that's right. The Dracula cough. You need to cough, cough into your right. arm. Exactly. Um, well, we are going to be tracking some snow before you know it. Tonight's going to be dry if you're going to be heading out anytime to go out, see some friends, maybe get some dinner, but tomorrow morning we start to track some more snow. Right now we've watched some clouds roll in and we are going to be looking at some snow as I've been showing you over the past 45-50 minutes. We are looking at a lot of it right now out through parts of Missouri. We can see it stretching from Kansas City all the way to St. Louis. And these dark blues, that's where the snow is very heavy. And they are looking at some very heavy snow out that way right now. And it looks like we're probably going to be dealing with, uh, actually not probably, we will be dealing with, if the forecast holds, the uh, snowiest event of the season so far. Right now, temperatures are in the upper 20s to right around 30. We're looking at 30 in Newark. Good evening. You are the warm spot on the map. It's 29 in Columbus. Elsewhere, though, when you factor in the winds, it actually feels like we're looking at 20. That's the real field temperature in Columbus. It feels like 25 in Newark, feeling like the low 20s in London and Lancaster. But yeah, as I mentioned, we haven't had a whole lot of snow so far this season. The biggest snow we've had was back on November 15th. We picked up 1.3 inches. And uh, as you can see, these are the top six snowfall and snowmakers so far this season. These four are starred because meteorological winter takes place from December, January through February, just because it's easier for record keeping. Those tend to be the coldest months of the year as well. So most of the snow that we've seen has been outside of meteorological winter, but that will be changing. And in fact, when we look at how much we've seen, only 2.8 inches so far this season, that's a 6.1 inch deficit. This time last year, we are looking, uh, we were looking at nine and a half inches of snow. So you can see that uh, it, uh, it, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit different than what we had last year. So the reason why we've been dealing with this is because a lot of times we've had these systems come through here, but we haven't had the cold air in place. Well, that's going to be different this time. Maybe we haven't had enough moisture. That will be different this time as well. And if we haven't had that cold air and the moisture, we may not have had the cold surfaces. Again, that's not a factor. So that's why we're looking at uh, this snow to stick is because we have all the factors in place. So let's kind of time out what's going to happen. We're going to put this into motion. You can see as we head past six, seven o'clock, we start to see some snow arriving. I think a Across central Ohio, I think 6 to about 10 a.m. is going to be the time frame and the arrival time. Here in Columbus, I think it's closer to around sometime after 7 or 8 in the morning, we start to see some snow. Marching towards lunchtime, you can see that area and that snow taking hold across the area. We continue to see it as we march through the afternoon, but notice the darker blues out in southern Ohio, and that's where I think we're going to see the heavier snow with this, and that's kind of counterintuitive. A lot of times it seems like I-70 is the dividing line with more snow up to the north than down to the south. Not this system just because of the way it's tracking. We continue to see some snow through around 7 o'clock, and it looks like the steadiest snow falls sometime between probably midday and about 6 or 7 or 8 tomorrow night. You can see that action really starting to move out of here through the overnight hours with a few lingering snow showers by Sunday morning. But when all is said and done, uh, it looks like the bulk of the snow will be tomorrow afternoon. So the big question is, though, how much are we expecting? It just depends on where you are. Looks like here in central Ohio, the heart of the area, I think a lot of us are looking at two to four inches. If you're north of 36, I'm talking about areas north of Marysville, uh, Delaware, Mount Vernon, generally around one to two with a few spots isolated, maybe a little more than that. And then if you're south of Circleville, you're south of Lancaster, you have a better chance of picking up around three to five. And there could be a few isolated spots, especially if you're south of Circleville and west of 23 that hit around six inches. But most of us in central Ohio here in the Columbus area are looking at around two to four inches. At least that's kind of how things shape up right now. But make sure you tune back at 11 because we'll have new data and we'll be able to tweak our numbers a little bit. And then we'll have another update tomorrow morning with Ross Caruso starting at 5 a.m. We're down to 23 tonight. Cloudy skies. We'll get some flurries late. And then we march through the day tomorrow and we have to watch out for that snow. It'll be a good day to sit indoors and watch 10 TV all day because you can enjoy the snow from the outside. Maybe take the kids out for a little sledding. Just be safe with them if they want to do that. 32 is your high. 35 on Sunday with a few snow showers early. Then we start to see actually a little clearing in the north by the end of the day. Get a little sunshine to start the work week next week with temperatures right around if not below average. Then we kind of swing back to near average by the end of next week. But there's also more snow in the forecast uh -huh. next weekend. And the exact timing of that Sunday and Monday, we're going to change that likely. But colder air is 
on the way, it looks like, and it looks like it could be very cold air, so we'll keep you posted on that. Okay, we are also keeping you posted on the evening commute. As a matter of fact, let's give you a live look here. 270 and US 33 on the southeast side of Columbus. Boy, that looks really, really good right now, especially heading, to, heading into kind of the last hour of the commute from 6 to 7 o'clock. It is going to look a lot differently come tomorrow when we show you these pictures. So again, <laughs> the place to go before you head out is 10tv.com slash traffic. Yolanda's here with a look at what we're working on for 6 o'clock. Well, guys, coming up at 6 o'clock, we've been talking about it for a while now, mm -hmm. talking about that snow, but that snow is less than 24 hours away now. Now, this is Missouri, where it's coming down right now. Coming up, we have live team coverage as it moves closer to us. And a local police chief thought he was allowed to blow past the school bus stop sign, but he was wrong. At 6 o'clock, you'll learn how he's facing the consequences. And three weeks into the shutdown, local federal workers are feeling the pinch. We're there for a protest. Next at 6, we'll hear from a man with only 100 bucks in his bank account, wondering what he's going to do. Surprising his role for a good cause, the major milestone for Hamilton tonight, and the people benefiting from some special ticket sales. This is no place for the timid. Out here, one wrong move can mean the end. But whenever challenges try to pin you down, you bite back. With T-Rex Brute Force, the unmatched strength of a single loop of tape holds more than 700 pounds. So when you're faced with even the most ferocious challenges, bite hard with the absolute strongest duct tape. T-Rex Brute Force. I'm attorney Scott Schiff. If you're like me, you like to support and buy from local businesses. Your doctors aren't from out of town, so if you get hurt, you shouldn't hire a lawyer from out of town. I'm Columbus's injury attorney Scott Schiff. Call me at 621-8888. At AT&T, we believe in access. The opportunity for everyone to explore a digital world full of possibilities. Connecting with family, friends, and the things that matter most. And because nothing keeps us more connected than the Internet, we've created access from AT&T. If a member of your household is a SNAP participant, you may qualify for home internet at a discounted rate of $10 a month. No commitment, deposit, or installation fee. Visit att.com slash access now to learn more. After 75 years serving Columbus, Uncle Sam's Pawn Shop is closing its doors. You'll find everything from musical equipment, TVs, bicycles, antiques to rare toys and sports memorabilia. If you can think of it, we have it, and you can have it up to 50% off. Thank you for letting us serve you, Columbus. Visit Ohio's RV partner at RVHostailers.com today. For thousands of Ohio Lottery retailers across the state, it's raining money. Thanks to the millions of tickets sold every day. Last year, retailers took in more than $206 million in commissions. Allowing them to invest in their employees, their businesses, and make improvements. So, players aren't the only ones winning. Retailers are too. Winners are everywhere. Will you be one? Play and find out. On Jeopardy! Do you have two words to complete the proverb? A journey of a thousand miles begins with a play along on Jeopardy! Tonight at 7 on 10 TV. Two things you need to know every day traffic and weather. 10 TV has you covered. It is another cold start to the day. Every morning, Molly Brewer steers you clear of the tie ups and slowdowns. You start this morning with an accident. And gives you the fastest route I'm for your morning commute. Drive time for you. And Ashley Barrissey has your complete Showing forecast. So the wintry storms won't stop you cold. It's just going to be downright cold. Before you head out, check in. Traffic and weather with Molly and Ashley. Part of the 10 This Morning team. Weekday starting at 425. Only on 10 TV. Get the fastest route for your morning commute. Download the 10 TV app. You're watching 10 TV, Central Ohio's news leader. Tonight at 8 on 10 TV, catch an episode of MacGyver, followed by Hawaii 5 at 9 o'clock, then Blue Bloods at 10, then 10 TV News at 11. Well, he's conquered Broadway, but tonight a new milestone for Hamilton creator and star Lin-Manuel Miranda. Tonight he goes back 
to his roots. The curtain on the smash hit will go up in Puerto Rico tonight. And tonight isn't just about ticket sales. It is helping those still struggling after Hurricane Maria. The conversation immediately became right. How do we help Puerto Rico and how do we leave it a little better than we found it? With this campaign, we want to help artists and artistic organizations that so often get forgotten in the rebuilding effort. Proceeds over the next three weeks will go to help those who are struggling artists. Today's date, which just so happens to be Alexander Hamilton's 262nd <laughs> birthday, if you're tracking that, marks the first time in more than two years that Miranda will return to the title role. We do have team coverage tonight of the first snow weekend of the season. 10TV News at 6 starts right now.